All right, this is a walkthrough of our new trailer toad that we just got a couple of weeks ago. A lot of people seem to be having questions about everything, but uh, yeah, the extensions allowed the van door to be opened, which we couldn't do because that was in the way. And then we didn't even bother having the tire rack or the uh, bike rack on there because, well, wasn't enough room. Uh, it would just sit there and knock into the back window of the uh, of the minivan. But uh, as you can see, it's fully up. Bike racks up. Everything's fully installed. So this is our Blue Ox Sway Pro. Um, we have it on seven chain links, and what this basically does is it allows the everything to be level. Um, so as you can see. Back up far enough. As you can see, everything is nice and level. Let me see if I can get a better angle. And you can also see that there is absolutely no rear end sag on the minivan, which means obviously there's no weight on the rear tires or not enough to uh, make it sag. This is basically how the van sits, even without any weight on the back whatsoever. Um, but let's go over here. You can see how this is set up. So spare tire sits here, but I took it off. They're fabricating a bracket that goes uh, six inches back. So the spare tire will actually be sitting here rather than here. And then here, there's also gonna be a six inch extension which is gonna push this back six inches so I can make tight turns reversing on the pivot point. And of course, there's my little Echo wireless brake controller, best thing ever. And then we have a rise kit from Blue Ox. I had to buy that separately. That was ridiculously expensive along with the toad. And then you can see here, This thing can handle up to 1,200 pounds tongue weight and 12,000 pounds gross trailer weight. It says, do not exceed these capacities. Now, from what the owner of the company said during testing, they actually successfully pulled, uh, I think they said upwards of 24,000 pounds with this. Um, it's not that the, the weight limit, they said they were gonna put it at 20,000, but the problem that they were having was it wasn't backing up correctly. It was essentially the the weight was too much for the toad to handle in reverse. So they reversed it back to 12,000 pounds and they it does wonderful. And then this is the leveling system. This is actually rotates. And then you got shocks right here, which help keep everything and then there's reverse pins right here these are pretty nifty so you can actually lift these it's a bit of a chore but you can lift them and it allows the trailer tow to pivot so at highway speeds you remove the reverse pins the reverse pins are mainly there to go in reverse um, but as long as you stay i think they said 55 miles an hour or lower is ideal for the uh, reverse pins to be in. So if you're just traveling on backcountry roads, it's highly recommended you keep the push pins down on the trailer toad. And then here's the monster tires that this thing comes with. But yeah, so multiple chains, more chains over here. I mean, this thing is, this thing is built tough. So I'm actually using this thing way, way under its capability. This, this thing is, I'm basically only using maybe 30, 40% of its capability. The tongue weight aspect, I'm not even sure if I'm even at 50% of its capacity. I doubt I'm, I think I'm at like, I think 590 with the batteries 
and everything hooked up to it. But you don't even notice it. The, the, the toad is actually happier when you have more tongue weight. So the more tongue weight you can add, the happier it is. So if you can add weight from apply weight to here, as much stuff as possible, the heavy stuff, it helps reduce sway, but it also makes the toad happy. Weirdest thing ever, I didn't believe the maker until I had a conversation with him and he's like, oh yes, the toad is much happier with more weight on the tongue. The more you can put on there, the happier it'll be. And since the, t and, you know, and so it's not really going up against your, what they call it, the gross vehicle weight, I believe, because the weight, let's see. Yeah, the gross vehicle weight for this is 6,085 pounds. Tow capacity is um, 3,500 technically. The, uh, let's see. But I mean, really, I've got maybe, with all the weight off the rear end, I think I've got maybe 70, 80 pounds on my, on the, uh, on the hitch. If maybe if that could be even 60 pounds, maybe 60, 70, but um, it's barely, there's no tongue weight on my hitch at all. It's not even nothing. So I'm able to travel with my family, no problems whatsoever. Breaking down hills, no problems whatsoever. And I mean, nothing. And then part of the reason why the, K, the tow rating for this specific vehicle is so low is because the suspension is not designed for towing. The suspension on this thing is designed for comfort. To, it's a people hauler. It's designed to keep people comfortable and you transport them. So obviously we love our people hauler, but we also love our trailer. What's the best solution for this? Get a, get a trailer towed. But other than that, I mean, it tows beautifully. Um, we average, we went up and down hills like crazy. Um, our average MPG was, I believe it was 11.7 miles per gallon with everything hooked up. We slammed on our brakes a few times for testing to make sure the trailer brake was working and it didn't skip a beat whatsoever. But yeah, so but uh, a lot of the towing capacity ratings for these minivans are due to the tongue weight. So if you take the tongue weight off the van, really it's up to what the engine is capable of and the brake system is capable of. And the brake system on this thing, these are not small brake pads. And even the pads and rotors, I mean, these are huge. They have no trouble stopping at all. And then this thing has a 3.3 liter V6 paired with a eight speed automatic transmission. This engine transmission setup can be found in the Kia Sorento, which has a 5,000 pound tow capacity. And then this vehicle in Europe, which is renamed the Kia Carnival, having the same engine and drivetrain, just a rebadged version of the Sedona, is capable of 4,409 pounds or 2,000 kilograms from what Google says. So the van's fully capable of towing. You just have to make some adjustments to get it there. And then of course, some pointers for keeping the engine healthy and the transmission healthy. This stuff is expensive, but boy, does it work. This thing, the engine is squeaky clean. I mean, Kia recommends replacing the oil every 3,750 miles if you do towing. And it, it does beautifully. I'm at 3,350 and we've towed a good, I'd say a couple thousand miles. I'd say about maybe, maybe 900 to a thousand miles of it was, was towing. Hold on one sec. Yeah, so this is the three, three liter, but here's the kicker. This engine, the oil, 
it's barely even dark and I'm getting to the end of life of the oil. So just to give you an idea that, you know, the oil, the engine is not burning oil during towing, towing at all. It's a little bit dark, but the, the, pur the oil, as you can see, is purple, but it's barely even, it's just got a slight dark tinge to it. But this oil is technically at the end of life stage. Uh, per Kia's guidelines, which of course I'm gonna adhere to. But uh, other than that, that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. But this is gonna be our setup um, for traveling cross country with a few more modifications to the toad, and I'll uh, keep everyone updated on that. But um, best uh, $3,500 investment ever. We don't have to spend an additional twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on an overpriced truck to tow our little uh, camper. All right, thanks for watching.